Disneyland pin or Disney <sighs> from a Twinkle Bell, Bell Taryn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Um, I'm actually recording this at 10 at night and I have to get up in the morning and do a 5K. So I'm going. Have a good night. Bye. Hey guys, today is a tag video that was created by Meg at Mickey's Magic. And I was tagged by Taryn from A Twinkle Bell, Bell Taryn. This tag is called Which Disney Villain Am I? A Disney Villain Tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the questions and answer them and then tag some of my own people. I mean, tag people myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, first favorite accessory for me my favorite accessory is a watch i enjoy wearing watches i match them with what i'm wearing if i'm wearing my apple watch i may switch the band to match the color if i'm wearing my fitbit watch then i'll match the band with that but i love watches um number two favorite color my favorite color is a dark forest green or a seafoam green. I don't have a seafoam green pair of ears, but I do have a, a dark green pair of ears, which are these right here. So this is like one of my favorite colors of green and the other one's seafoam. If you want to know why, dark green is very rich in color. It's very um, outdoorsy. It's very, it's very foresty. And I love the outdoors. And seafoam green is very much beachy. Um, and it makes me think of the beautiful ocean. I know you would think till, but for some reason the seafoam just rings to me for like the shallow ocean. And uh, that's why I like that color. <laughs> Number three, favorite dessert, key lime pie. Why? Because it's reminds me of the beach. It's reminiscent of the beach. And I grew up in the hills of East Tennessee, so I'm used to the mountains. So I always kind of just yearn for the beach and a nice, good, awesome key lime pie just brings back all that. Number four, your ideal layer. So if you watch Arrow or the Green Arrow, but it's actually Arrow, it used to be the Green Arrow, um, they have a layer that's kind of like under a building, um, and it's full of really cool drop down LED bright lights and computer stations everywhere and their uniforms, costumes, whatever are on display and they have like workout stuff and everything. I would like a layer like that. A little bit of everything. You could even live there if you wanted to. Number five, describe your style. I don't really feel like I have much of a style, but I feel if it's anything, it's kind of classic to where it never really goes out of a style because I tend to wear a lot of um, just slim fitting jeans and solid color shirts and dresses that are just kind of classic and don't really go out of style. Um, there are things that I wear that are trendy, but I feel like mostly I'm classic. Like my watch that I wear the most, it's called Klaus. It's just a classic looking watch. Um, six, best power to have. Um, you know, I kind of think that it's going to be like the magic that Loki has. Um, because he can teleport himself anywhere. He can make himself invisible. He can just, I mean... He can put somebody else's face on. I feel like he can do pretty much every, anything except for fly. But why do you need to fly when you can teleport yourself somewhere with the magic he has? Or, you know, I could just get a wand and a broom. Um, weapon of choice. Bow and arrow. My arrows in my quiver. <laughs> Would be, um, if you haven't figured it out yet, arrows like my favorite TV show. Um, comic, whatever. Uh, yeah, so bow and arrow would be my weapon of choice. It can go long distances. It's light 
and not real heavy, so it's not like a big gun or something. Um, so yeah, bow and arrow. Biggest fear or weakness? <laughs> um, I guess failure would be my biggest fear and my biggest weakness on myself is um, a lot of people don't really get my humor and it could sometimes cause problems. <laughs> so two weaknesses or like biggest fear and then the biggest weakness. So there. Nine, perfect sidekick, Timon and Pumbaa. Why? Because they're hilarious. Um, it was on the TV the other day, and they were doing the little dance where they go back to the to Pride to the Pride Lands, and uh, Simba makes them the distraction. They did their little dance. Oh my gosh! I just cracked up laughing. Uh, da 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 da. Favorite villain song? Ooh. <laughs> I like sat there and looked some up because I couldn't decide and I narrowed it down to two. So you're getting two, sorry. One would be Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. It's just so funny. And in the live action film, and I know some people don't like it, but two actors in that, in that scene, I just love them so much. And I don't know, they just play well off each other in that song. It's just so funny. And then the other one was um, Be Prepared from Lion King. I like that one because um, I grew up watching that movie and listening to all the songs from that movie. So I just had to add it. Uh, favorite smell or scent? You know how I like the outdoors? Well, I also like camping and I like s'mores. So Marshmallow Fireside by Bath & Body Works is my favorite favorite, all-time favorite candle scent. Um, unfortunately, the other scent that's my favorite, they don't make a candle out of, but they make soap and um, hand sanitizer, which is um, Black Cherry Marlowe. So it's like a wine scent. So those are my two favorite scents. Best quality. Um, I'm witty, but that's also my worst quality. <laughs> Um, I can't really think of any, I mean, I usually am pretty quick on my feet to come back with people, so I don't, I just, witty. <laughs> um, what makes a good villain? Ooh, that's thir this is 13. I did get them all, right? Film song, scent, weakness, sidekick, weapon of choice. Man, I went through this quick. Okay, I wrote these down. Well, I wrote all of it down because I'm OCD. <laughs> that should be my weakness. I'm OCD. Uh, what makes a good villain? He's doing the right thing, or convinced he's doing, sorry. He's convinced he's doing the right thing. Um, many likable qualities, worthy enough opponent to make your hero look good, clever, many of the same characteristics as your hero, occasionally can be kind, persuasive, stop at nothing to get what he wants, proud, jealous, and vengeful which all of those encompass Loki, who's my favorite villain. <laughs> okay, that's it. I forgot to write down who I was gonna tag, but that's okay. I'll just wing it and say I'm gonna tag my partner channels, both of them, Cinder Alley Loves Disney and um, The Disney Housewife. Please go check them out. I list my partner channels in my description of every video. I'd really appreciate it if you checked them out. Now, I think I'll also tag Mmm, let's tag Plates and Travels. I haven't tagged you in a while, and I know you're behind in your tags, but you're getting another one. And then one more, one more, because I don't like odd numbers. Cargo619, come on, girl. Uh, Janine, Disney DIY, Finding Disney. Okay, guys, that's it. I tagged six people. You get your tag on, ladies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'm actually recording this at 10 at night and I have to get up in the morning and do a 5K. So I'm going. Have a good night.